Welcome to that 135th scale show. So in today's episode, I'm going to go over some general tips and concepts about editing and compressing your video for YouTube. The first thing is your editor. You can either edit on something fancy, something not fancy, as long as it does the job, that's really all that matters. For PC people and Mac, you can go with the uh, Adobe Premiere. You can buy it for $19 a month with the Adobe Creative Cloud, or you can buy it for $50 a month and buy the entire Adobe Creative Suite. If you would like to work Mac only, and go with an Apple product if you're a big Apple fan, you can go ahead and get Final Cut X for a $300 initial fee and you can use it for as long as you want. But if you really don't feel like spending money, I'm sure that you can get a copy of Sony Vegas or just a quick Google search reveals that you can end up getting VideoPad Video Editor. I've never heard of it, but it's free. And also just found out that YouTube has its own video editor that you can upload your clips and edit within the website and then upload your videos. So then comes editing. Um, don't be afraid to just do a hard edit, hard cut, just chop it right there. You don't really need transitions that you can put them in. They're sometimes nice, but most of the time just a hard cut and cut out all the ums, um, um, ums and the awkward pauses. And so after you're done editing, the biggest thing is to compress it. In Final Cut, there's the wonderful YouTube uploader that as soon as you're done editing, it sends it right up to YouTube and it's already compressed and it's beautiful. I know that we use that a lot for the show just because of the sake of simplicity. Once you're finished editing in Premiere, save out to a hard file onto your desktop or files in your computer. Uh, most of the presets, good ones to go for are like Vimeo HD or something like Apple Devices 720, something like that. And the reason you want to do these presets is like the Vimeo presets already probably the best that I've seen so far from a video hosting website. But if you don't have any of these and you are unable just to go directly to YouTube through something like Final Cut, um, another option is to use MPEG Stream Clip, which is a free program that allows you to go ahead and use all the file types and codecs that are on your computer, which is like .mov or mp4 or avi. It'll compress it and give you a second file duplicate compressed version. I actually do this a lot when there's a project that needs to be in a certain file type that is a little bit rarer. So a good tip about compressing is to generally, you never, ever, ever want to be something over 500 megabytes. For our Brilliant Boy Media Reel that I recently did, and it's only 84 megabytes. To give you more perspective, I know that some of our episodes go into the 15 minute mark, and that my senior thesis film, which is 14 minute long, doesn't go over the 230 megabyte limit on Vimeo. There's really no need for you to ever be over 500 megabytes. Another good rule is that if you film in 1080 HD or something equivalent, uh, just go ahead and compress it to 720. It's also considered HD and it'll A, upload faster, have smaller file size, and looks just as good when streaming through moderate internet or even bad internet. Like, I have some poor internet and most of the time I don't even watch HD videos in HD. So I hope some of this helps you. If you need more questions answered, go ahead and give me a shout out or just browse the internet and I hope this helps.